Hello everybody. Um, I was repotting this alder uh, when I broke my camera. You may have saw that I posted a message in the, um, on the community tab. I hadn't realised that it wasn't just the screen that cracked. I thought the blurry image on the screen was because I'd cracked the view screen. But it turned out that the camera wasn't focusing so um, you didn't get to see me repot this tree or hear the explanation as to why it being an alder, it's in this shallow pot. Um, there is a picture and I'll include it in the video here. So you can see from that picture the colour of these buds against the colour of this pot is absolutely gorgeous. Um, for an alder it's not an ideal pot, it's a very shallow pot for an alder. Uh, they do like a lot of moisture. So this tree sits in a tray of water uh, up to about here for the entire, well, sort of late spring, early summer, and and uh, of late spring, all of summer, and early autumn, uh, and sometimes into the winter as well. And even then, you get the odd branch die back. So yeah, not ideal, but it it's just. The bud said to me, this is the pot, and uh, so far we're managing. It's not ideal, as they say, but the tree seems to be surviving quite nicely. I've had it quite a number of years, and uh, bring you round. There's a couple of areas I'm still working on where bits are beginning to interfere with one another. Uh, I'm in two minds about what to do that there. They're both heading away from one another, but as they thicken up, they might begin to interfere. So I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove that piece. Tidy that up a little bit. That's a bit better. Okay, so those bits don't interfere anymore. Um, and that bit going straight up. I could wire it. I think I will wire that. Um, this branch I hadn't got round to dealing with. And again, it's going to need a little bit of wire. Just to stop those branches interfering one with the other. So... I'm just going to wire the two branches together. And then I can bring that one around. And that way, a little more, and bring this one away from this branch. back of the tree so they will come out and they will give some added depth. This branch I'm going to put a little bit of wire on as well. Miss that bud. And then I'll persuade that just nicely to fit in between those three like so. Think a little heavier. And the right gauge wire. Yeah, I think that'll do it. Be careful I don't knock the tree out of its pot at this point, it's freshly repotted. Um, that's better, but I'm going to then re remove that one. Um, okay, so 
of that out there. So we'll give you a quick spin of that one. It makes quite a nice little tree. Now as the canopy fills in over the summer, keep it list, bring back to this sort of stage and size and uh, yeah, it's quite a nice little tree. Now we're going to repot another. This is another, it's a common alder, same as the last one. Uh, a slightly bigger tree. It's had, uh, well, I forget how that happened. I didn't actually do this carving. Well, no, that's not true. I have done some of the carving. I've emphasised it, but the damage was done. Um, probably, possibly by the strim or something. If I had this tree down, not not intentionally in the first place. Let's put it that way. Um, this tree's got quite a nice little root base, and uh, let's give you a twirl. It's got a lot of long, straight branches, and is in a much better pot for it. It's in a, um, a deeper pot in the first place. I can still put it in water to under it if we get a really, really hot summer like we had the last year and the year before. Um, but the tree is much happier for having that deeper root spread, I think. So, first thing I want to do with this one now is get it out of its pot and uh, clean up the roots. Okay. Right. Come out. I think it's caught on the drainage screens. Yes, it is. The pot needs a good clean. Um, but otherwise the drainage screens have stayed in place, which is always nice. So, before I do anything else, I'm going to get it cloth and some water and clean up that pot. Okay, let's uh, clean off some of these roots. see that this tree has been repotted since I began using the new mixture. Um, it's a much chunkier stuff than the last one but it also comes off easier. The trees seem to grow as well if not better. Um, this tree's put most of its root at the bottom here which makes sense with an elder because this is where the pot has sat in tray of water in the heat of last summer and it would put it down its roots to drink said water. So get rid of all those. See if we can't bring it back to a Kind of short back and sides, really. Now, I wasn't going to completely, um, completely remove all the soil, but it's decided mostly it wants out, so um, it's kind of defoliated itself. That's not the word, is it? But you know what I mean. So, I don't want to be too long because the sun is shining and it's, well, we had some rain just now. It's a very windy day and the roots will begin to dry out quite quickly. Um, I'm going to see if I can't remove some of these chunky bits. Probably enough. Certainly, it's given room to get the 
tree back in the pot. As you can see, now it's been cleaned up. It's a bit of nice green, and uh, although it doesn't match the buds, which you can see even better on this tree, um, it matches the leaves quite nicely in the midst of summer. So, okay, try that for size. Of course, it fits. Um, do I want to take any more off the front there? No, I think I think I'm happy with it like that. Now this isn't my normal mix of 6, 4 and 2. This is 6 parts kitty litter, uh, 4 parts grit and 4 parts organic compost because uh, that's the mix I use for my uh, alders, willows and other intensely thirsty plants. Alder and willow, for that matter, often live on floodplains or near rivers or somewhere where they're, they can get their roots down into the wet, wet soil. They really like it damp. So this just helps hold that dampness. And I didn't put any feed in yet, but I'm going to as I pack this around the roots. Um, I do like to have the feed near the top of the pot, I've said this before, even though this is a, a richer, more organic uh, mix, the, it's still very free draining, so you don't want the feed capsules at the bottom of the, the bottom of the pot, so that when they leach out the feed, it runs straight out of the bottom, uh, and it doesn't benefit anything for the tree, um, only the weeds and things that might be growing under the, bench, under the bench beneath it. Uh, it's going to take me a little while to get this down into all the nooks and crannies, so we'll come back in a minute when I've done that. Okay, you can see the trees packed in there quite tightly now, but I've still got a bit of a gap under the tree, so I'm still going to have to keep packing it in under there. Um, but I'm going to add some control release fertilizer. And then continue filling in. As I say, I'm going to have to pack some more in under that hollow. The roots sort of do this. I don't know if you saw that at the beginning. I didn't point it out. Um, but because they have that kind of claw effect and because most of the soil fell away as I was getting it out of the pot, um, then, uh, yeah, there was kind of a gap. I think... Okay, so a bit of shaping. I'm going to take off this branch that's poking straight up, it's here, and uh, I'm going to take this branch right back to a little side bud here. Same with this one. I'm going to shorten this one now. You might think it's a bit drastic, um, but I had, you know, long straight pieces with little to no movement and uniform thickness. Uh, just screams juvenile tree, doesn't shout old tree. Um, you know, young trees are heading to the sky and they tend to grow and grow and grow um, as quickly as possible in a couple of seasons and you've got fairly uniform thick trunk or branch or both um, whereas with an old tree 
you're looking at something more gnarled and uh, more movement, more taper and that's what I'm trying to achieve in this tree so uh, again and I also removed quite a lot of root so I'm going to remove quite a bit of the top growth to try and balance that out at least as the tree begins to grow initially um, we have some very boring uh, pieces here in fact I'm not even sure this branch oh, there we go that branch is dead I was going to say it's not even alive but uh, you know it's it's dead so okay we're going to shorten this very long straight thing back with that and I'm going to chop uh, let's chop this piece in favour of a little bud that's coming out there back round to the front um, I don't like that piece much. I'm going to shorten it off and hope it's back both somewhere interesting. If not, it'll go as the summer progresses. I'm going to take that off. Again, in favour of this smaller piece. This piece I could wire, but I'm not inclined so to do. I'm more inclined to shorten it. And we'll see where it goes again. And then this piece. Uh, I'm still not sure about this. It's, it's a kind of a sacrifice branch. Um, I'd like to grow the head here somewhere if I can, but it may grow it as a secondary trunk. That's a decision to make for the future. For now, uh, still thinking the dead piece just there and there okay An horrible dead straight piece there and there okay so that's going to help balance out um, hopefully we get lots of back budding this piece and just I might do some more carving on it in the summer um, I know people say no deadwood in a in a um, deciduous tree, but I like it. I like it as it is, and uh, I'm not going to throw out a whole tree just because the books say uh, they don't think it should be that way. It's me who's got to look at it every day, after all. Quick 360 then. From this angle, that branch is just long, straight, and very boring. Uh, not so bad from the front, but I'm going to put a quick piece of wire on it. I think I said in the last video that one day I'll do a 360 without spotting something else, but maybe I should do a 360 just for myself but no I think it's just part of my process and uh, I'm not saying I'm right and I'm not saying you know do as I do do as I don't I'm just saying this is how I do it and uh, this is what I do if you like it you like it if you don't you don't um, if you learn something useful hooray but don't take what I say as gospel you know I'm just as I say in my I'm just an enthusiastic amateur having fun with these trees and sharing them with you guys. Still not sure about that, but there you go. It needs to be, yeah. No, oh, that's better. Uh, not interfering with that branch in the same way now. So that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. 
please, please, please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe.